the scenes from a hat. I am your host, Remy Argentum, and welcome to all Minnesota talent here on Scenes from a Hat, which, there's no hat. Where's the hat? Where's the... <laughs> Featuring all Minnesota talent. And uh, let's meet our contestants. Nathan Black, ladies and gentlemen. Yay! Yay. 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 Yeah. yeah! Who's he? Precisely. Precisely. <laughs> well, Nathan, it looks like the tables have turned. Indeed they have. Yes. I'm in the hot seat. Apparently. And you know what? We have a special little thing that we want to do with you, Nathan, because you've been such a good host. <laughs> <laughs> We all want to work with you and screw you over. I mean, play fun games with you. And that brings us to Changing Lines. <sighs> Ladies and gentlemen, how Changing Lines works is uh, we will have Nathan up uh, with our very own Merit West. Rock on! Be funny, Nathan. Be funny. Now, Nathan doesn't yeah. know this game uh, very well. I mean, he has uh, given instructions like 50 million times, give or take. 51. Yeah. How the game works is Nathan and uh, Merritt here are going uh, to give us a scene. They're going to perform it, and whenever they hear change, they must change their last line to something even more outlandish, ludicrous, or just depressing. I don't care which. Can we get one from the audience? A suggestion, a handle. Uh, one of them is trying to cross the border and the other is the border patrol. I, is everybody comfortable with that? I mean, <laughs> oh why not? That seems circus like a- performers. I think we're gonna go Your with circus- lab rats. I like lab rats. I like lab rats. So, gentlemen, you are lab rats going for experiments. And begin. This cheese is really good. You got the good cheese? Mine tastes like. Mm, is it cheddar? No. Change. Um, I think it might be Swiss. Change. No, it's Limburger. Change. Oh, I didn't get cheese. I got. I got your poo! Ha ha. I tricked you. <laughs> I'm the clever rat. Change. I'm the uh, I'm the funny rat. Change. I'm the rat that they only put in when all the other rats have died. That's <laughs> why you're here. Oh, why did they poison us? Huh? huh? I don't know. I guess I'm still here. Change. I don't know. I guess I'm still running experiments. Change. I don't know. I'm just plotting an escape, and hopefully you'll team up with me, and we can actually get out of this hellhole. I think we can do that. I think we can do that. Why don't we uh, try to work that weird little lever thing? You know how to work that that lever thing they keep doing? Change. Yeah. I, you know, they, it's, it's more like a ramp. I don't know. I, Change. You know, it's like this kind of like, the, it's like a drawbridge. Well, it's kind of different depending on what maze they put us in. But we have to get to the lever and hopefully we can open the door. Change. But we have to get to the lever and hopefully it'll launch us out like a catapult. Oh, a catapult? A cat? What? No oh, way! I'm oh, going where oh, there's a cat? Oh, yeah, last time I was with a cat. I mean, he gave me this cat. And he was all like, Change. And I was like, what? And he was all like, hey, man, this love is great. And I was like, Change. He was like, whoa, whoa, I can't see. I see like a hundred hands in my paws. I got hands for paws. Cats are weird. Uh... Change. <laughs> Cats are my best friends. Change. I think we can actually use a cat to get us out of here. Change. I think we can actually use a cat if we jump on its tail and ride it to victory. Change. I think we can actually somehow get out of here and it has nothing to do with cats at all. Oh yeah, you got like some kind of magic or something? I mean, last time I was in a magic thing, I mean, there was like this other mouse with this weird cone hat and he was waving this weird wand, spraying stuff everywhere. I mean, it was crazy. He's like, uh, uh and he's like, oh, 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 and I'm like, what? You, you, got, you know, you, you just got a little weird, man. 
You're high. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you, Merrick West. Thank you. <laughs> And the pain continues. It's prison week. <laughs> Our, uh, we're going to do uh, the same game, but this time you get to work with the big guy, Benjamin Manthe! Ah! Fire, fire. Ah! Now, uh, can we get another game uh, for these uh, two fine gentlemen? And Nathan. <laughs> well, they're at church. Uh, let's try uh, something. Uh, One is moving out of the house. One is moving out of the house? Mm -hmm. Okay. One of you is moving out of the house. And at the sound of uh, the ha huh? begin. Well, I guess we're out of boxes. Well, you know what? One of us is moving out, and guess what? It's you. God, change it. <laughs> One of us is moving out, and I think it probably should be me. Well, that's fine with me because uh, I got these ladies coming over later and we're going to take over the hot tub. Change. I got these ladies coming over and there's going to be panties hanging off the wall. Change. I got these ladies coming over and they're probably going to mock me and leave <laughs> with all your equipment. <laughs> well, you know, I don't understand why you have ladies coming over because last, the last time we had one of these parties, it was nothing but dudes. Change. The last time we had one of these parties, it was nothing but sheep. Change. <laughs> Last time we had one of these parties, there was a naked goat, two midget Norwegians, and a pocket full of <laughs> cocaine. <laughs> That's a good time. You shouldn't knock it, man. I'll tell you what, you ever get a, a whacked out Norwegian midget on coke? I mean, that little sucker bounces off the walls like a Super Bowl. <laughs> this, well, I just don't understand why you would want to throw one of those parties when I'm not here. I mean, I'm the life of a party. Change. I mean, I cool off parties. Change. I kill parties. Change. Parties are much better with me and about 25 Norwegian misses. <laughs> <laughs> That's true, but you know, I'm not sure I can handle all the lefts of flying through the air. I mean, last time they basically took my head off. Change. <laughs> Last time they covered me in bear grease and slid me down the, out the window. Change! <laughs> Last time they, they dressed me up like a seal and gave me a swirly. <laughs> you know, oh this is completely ridiculous. We're the perfect roommates. We, none of us should move out. We should just stay together. What we really need is a bigger house. Change. What we really need is a mansion. Change. What we really need is to kick Trump out of Trump Towers and have our parties there all the time. <laughs> I could get behind that action. That'd be great. All right, let's do it. All right. <laughs> yeah. Not so easy, is it? No. <laughs> oh. Yeah, I was hoping for a Yoda. That was uh, why you failed. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you, Benjamin oh. Matthew, ladies and gentlemen. Yeah. Well, Nathan, are you uh, are you tired out yet? Nope. Oh. Ready for more, sir? Let me have it. That's what. Sh Let's begin that again. Change. <laughs> So, Nathan, you ready for some more, or are you tired, man? I am absolutely raring to go. Awesome, because the next game is Quiz Show. Sweet. This game uh, right here is a game uh, where it's a game within a game. How many times can I say the word game? Well, in any case, we have uh, Nathan right here. He uh, will actually be our game show host. And Nathan, every... <laughs> now... Every game show needs a, a, a few contestants. Why don't, uh, why don't, for this game, we have Kenton Holden, ladies and gentlemen. Yay! Yay! And uh, along with Kenton, let's uh, bring out, Jordan, what's your last name, man? Rulo. Ru? Ru really? Ru no. Ru no. Jordan Rulo, ladies, uh, ladies and gentlemen. <laughs> Actually, I think I can do that more scooby like It's roulette. Right. Roulette? <laughs> I'm messing with you. <laughs> and uh, our third uh, contestant will be Kat Fenton. Yes, she was a certain position. Well, Kat loves uh, to be in between men. Mm -hmm. I'm, I'm guessing. 
make a cat sandwich. <laughs> now, ladies and gentlemen, we need a name for this quiz show. Name that... Sandwich. Sandwich. Okay, name that sandwich. Now, Nathan, are you ready uh, to begin? Give me a three, two, one. Okay then. Three, two, one, begin. Welcome everybody to another exciting, tasty episode of... Name, name That Sandwich! Oh, thank you so much. My name is Scam Likely, and we're really going to have a good time here on Name That Sandwich. But before we can get started, we need to meet our contestants. <laughs> Contestant number one! Hi, Scam. My name is uh, Peter Priapus, and I'm the manager at the uh, Fantasy Bookstore. Well, I'm oh, sorry. Welcome, Peter. We're glad to have you on the show. Contestant number two! My name is Cookie Muncher, and I just um, sit down all day and look pretty. <laughs> well, you can munch my cookies if you know what I mean. Welcome to the show, Contestant 2. Contestant 3! Hi, my name is Harry All Over. <laughs> and I am. All right, Harry, welcome. This is going to be a great show. I know that all of you are already familiar with the rules. You have to guess the sandwich, and then you get points, and then you read the bonus bag, and then we're ready to go. Okay, Yay! let's get started. <laughs> all right, so hands on those buzzers. First of all, we got to name this sandwich. This sandwich was last seen at the Battle of New Orleans in 1876. Name that sandwich. <laughs> Because that's number three! What is the Canadian flapjack? I'm sorry, that would have been the right answer, but you answered in the form of a question! <laughs> it's an open go board! Um, is it, um, the seaweed from the Colonel Sanders sandwich? Judges, they say that's correct! Congratulations! <laughs> 37 yeah. points for contestant number two! Alright, hands on the buzzers, and here we go! Name this sandwich! I was the sandwich that Moby Dick swallowed just before I got speared by Captain Ahab! Please name me! <laughs> Contestant number one. Is that the Queen Cog Queen? That is correct, Peter. <laughs> congratulations. 67 points for contestant number one. All right, we just got one more question in our regular round before we move on to the condiment round. Ooh. So here we go. Our last question is, this sandwich can be found in the refrigerator of almost any major appliance store. Wait, what? Contestant number three. It's the hiccup punch. That is correct. All right. And now, ladies and gentlemen, we are dead here with 67, 37, and 52, but as everybody knows in Sandwichville, that means it's a complete tie, so we have to go to the bonus round. Woo! Hands on the buzzers. And actually, oh no, our judges say it's a taste test. You have to name this sandwich. Please eat this sandwich, player number one. Mmm, 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 oh, oh, mmm, this is a honey pot sandwich. I'm sorry, that's incorrect. Why don't we give that to contestant number two? Let's have you take a try. It tastes like Moby's deck. <laughs> you are so close, but I'm sorry, that is still not the correct answer. Contestant number three! Yeah. Tastes like shit covered in burnt hair. That is absolutely correct! Contestant number three is our winner! burnt hair. So, <laughs> between Moby's dick and sh with hair on it, I, I think we're off the air. And it wasn't me! <laughs> Bravo, Kenton! <laughs> 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 Sorry, someone else beat you to it. Oh, well, well, I didn't mean to say queen hog queef, not queef. <laughs> well, they've been. Quick, 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 Are you ready for your just desserts? I think so. <laughs> well, so, well, in this one, uh, Nathan, we don't need uh, to understand you because we're doing foreign film dub. Woo! <laughs> foreign film dub! <laughs> and, and for this uh, one, we're going to need uh, uh, the help of. Karen Voles, ladies and gentlemen! Yeah. And uh, along uh, with her will be Lauren Kincaid! <laughs> and because he did such a good job uh, not uh, having any kind of dirty jokes in it, we're gonna have Kenton Holden come back up. Woo! Hey, Holden Holden! Don't expect it to happen Holden. twice. <laughs> <laughs> now, how this I game—that's what she said. Oh. Now, how this game works is uh, 
our uh, contestants, who will be Nathan and who would like to actually be side by side with Nathan? Somebody who does that? Lauren Kincaid. <laughs> you say that like a stripper. Lauren Kincaid. Oh yeah. <laughs> okay. All right. Now. Lauren and Nathan uh, will uh, be performing a show for us in a foreign language. And uh, they will have Kenton and Karen giving us uh, the translation. Now, before we uh, begin, we need a foreign language that this film will be in. Alien. Uh. Hawaiian. You know what? We haven't done a Hawaiian yet. That's good. I like that. Maliki laka, brother. Don't they speak English in they have uh, their Make own language. Hi, Make a Pigeon language. That's another one. But uh, uh, now we need a Hawaiian title for this film. Uh, the Little Surfer Girl. You're the Little Surfer Girl. A little bit. He fell into a volcano. <clears throat> <laughs> he, he fell into the... Uh, Red Hot Summer. Fell into the... He fell into the... Uh, <laughs> <laughs> if I can't say it, it's not going to be a title. Who the little are you Surfer Girl. Like, Nathan will be the server. Like, Volcanoes suck. Volcanoes suck. We'll go with that. Volcanoes suck. (laughs) Okay. Now, we have the Hawaiian film villain uh, Volcanoes Suck. Please begin. Mecca like a high, Mecca hiney ho. There's a volcano just over the hill. Bye, my die. Hula hula! Yo! No! That's my favorite volcano. Huh? Mecca. Kitty Witty, Tiki Wiki, Bukaluka. You wanna go with me and see if it sucks? Tiki Wiki, Tiki Wiki, Bukaluka! I don't see how any volcano could possibly suck. Pineapple. <laughs> Well, I don't mean suck in the literal sense. I mean, you know, it's a volcano that doesn't really blast very well. So, in the sense, you know, that it's <sighs> sucky. Hi, <laughs> Mira! Hi, P. Da. Da. Sorry, I just zoned out a minute. <laughs> Pineapple sugar plantation. Bamboo. Well, if you won't go with me, I'll find somebody who will suck. Ah! Ah! Oh. I love slapping you. <laughs> You're a friend to get out. And because uh, we're a uh, we're a game show where everyone gets to play, let's switch it up, Nathan. You're now translating. Now we need another foreign language. Chinese. Chinese. Okay, and uh, the name of the Chinese uh, film? Not another daughter. (laughs) (laughs) What? Not another daughter. Not another daughter. (laughs) Chopsticks of doom. (laughs) We'll go with chopsticks of doom. That's less likely to get us sued. <laughs> so the Chinese, Took me a the Chinese uh, film Chopsticks of Doom. Begin. Does something about these chopsticks appear strange to you? Ah, uh, yeah. No. They seem to be glowing with an intense red light. Ah, uh, ookie wookie. I see red, but no intensity. None, 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 none. Hi, hi, Tokwa. I think it burned my hand. Look, you can see right through to the bone. And look, I'm bleeding now. And look, I might die. Chen Wan Wu! Can I suck your blood? Can't you keep your vampirism under control at an emergency time like this? But your blood is the sweetest, most pungent, aerobic blood I've ever had. Hi, Tati, get a move. 
Surely the chopsticks could save me if they would somehow levitate and then pierce your evil heart. My love, I'm... I must... Oh, sh... <laughs> <laughs> Got <laughs> Talk about a controlling bitch. I, I gotta say, I never knew that Karen could do ventriloquism. Bravo! Bravo! Wait, uh, I'm embarrassed! Bravo! Thank you for joining us uh, on Scenes from a Hat. Enjoy! Woo! Woo!